Hello friends, welcome to my channel EC9 classes. So in this video, we are going to observe how to interface the Raspberry Pi 3 model or 4 model with the laptop. So even though the Raspberry Pi is a 3 model or it is a Raspberry Pi is a 4 model, the procedure is same. So to uh, for that, we need to uh, ready with the, the softwares like Putty software and the XMIM software and the Raspberry Pi OS software. So we need to ready first of all these three softwares. So Putty software and XMIM software and this Raspberry Pi image software. Sorry, this Raspberry Pi image, right? So the purpose of this image, uh, uh, this Raspberry Pi image means uh, to install our Raspberry Pi OS into the memory card. Then the purpose of this Putty software to interface other multi-user system from PC. Then the purpose of this XMIM software, it is an open source X Windows terminal emulator, right? So the very first point, so take a, uh, a new 16 GB memory card. So first of all, uh, then uh, with the help of this card reader, format the memory card. And uh, here we require one ethernet cable. So one end we need to connect to the, one end we need to connect to the Raspberry Pi and the other end we need to connect to our laptop. Okay. So next, uh, first of all, we need to install the whatever the requirement softwares to our laptop and as well as uh, the software we need to install in our memory card itself also. So first, let us see the memory card point of view. So here, if you, uh, with the help of card reader, insert into the uh, memory uh, laptop, then it is showing like this. It is a, some, uh, whatever it may be the name, boot like this. So first of all, with the help of this SD card formatter or any other thing, format the SD card. Then remove that uh, SD card from the laptop. Now the next step it is we need to install the OS, right? We need to install the that Raspberry Pi image to our laptop. Okay. Then only we can install the software into our memory card. So for that in Google, just type Raspberry Pi Imager, then you will come up with this window. So if you click on this one, then it will go to the, it will go to the, the, our original, original site, that is this one. So here, you will observe the install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager, right? So this is, now here, if you click on this download for Windows, right? So this Raspberry Pi Imager, it is downloaded like this setup. You will find this type of setup. So now here you need to double, simply double click on this one and uh, it is automatically, uh, it is asking some uh, requirements, then uh, accept that requirements, then the, uh, the Imager it is ready to use. The image is downloaded. Then, so it is showing like, like this, Raspberry Pi Imager V1.6.2. So that is the version, right? Now, so it is uh, asking like this, first of all, operating system, you need to select the operating system. If you click, click on this button, then we need to choose the storage. And after that, if you, uh, after that, you need to write into that. For that, if you click on this one, choose OS, you will come up this window. Here you need to select the Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. So it is a recommended one. Uh, if you want some other OS are also available, you can choose appropriate one, which is, uh, so which application you want, right? So, and uh, then after that, choose storage, click on this choose, uh, this uh, storage and uh, this, uh, it will automatically showing that our memory card, uh, our memory card 
uh, folder, right? Our, uh, so then our, our memory card drive, then click on that one. Then, so here, so don't click on this right symbol. It is very important. Now, after choosing these two, now you need to click on this control plus shift plus X. In the keyboard, just you need to, uh, you need to use the control plus shift plus X. Then you will come up with this window. Please, uh, then here you need to choose the image customization options. If you click on this one, uh, and uh, you will, uh, you need to select this, select this one. And uh, here you need to select this uh, set host name, host name, and uh, you need to select this enable SSH. Like this, you will come. Right, so here the host name you need to type it as Raspberry Pi, and anyway dot local. This is a, a this is available already. So after that you need to enable this SSH also. Then here you need to type the password. The password is you need to choose this one by default. So that is Raspberry Raspberry, right? So here you need to type Raspberry Pi, the host name. And here you need to type Raspberry. So my suggestion is, so my opinion, according to my opinion, please maintain whatever it may be the host host name I mentioned here, and whatever it may be the password I mentioned here. You need to you need to maintain the same. Then after that, yeah. So then after then only you need to click on this right uh, button. Click on this right button. Then it is a. Uh, uh, it is taking some uh, some 15 to 20 minutes time that is depending upon our Wi-Fi net speed. Yeah, after that, so you can remove SD card from the reader. So then if you click on this continue, then remove that SD card from the card reader, then insert that SD card to our Raspberry Pi, then yeah, now, after that, before uh, interfacing the Raspberry Pi to laptop with the help of uh, Ethernet cable, now you need to ready with other two softwares also, that is Putty and Xmin. So how to install this Putty software? Now let us see. So here just type in Google, that is Putty-64-bit-0.76 dash dash installer or you may click this link. So this link uh, I will provide in the, I will, pro, I will provide in the uh, menu bar, uh, I will provide in the, this, uh, yeah, okay. So this, uh, this one I will provide in the description, there you can uh, observe. So now the point it is, So yeah, after this, uh, download it here. If you click on this one, then go to this uh, uh, website, then you need to uh, click on this download it here. Okay, so then if you click on that download it here, you will come up with uh, this type of setup. Okay, then double click on this setup and uh, install that setup into your laptop. Then after that, installation of this Xmin software. So to installation to install this Xmin software, here also uh, you can type like this Xmin-6-9-0-31-1 setup or you can uh, with this uh, with this link also you can you can go through this website. Right, so you will uh, observe the above two links uh, in the description. Now the point it is, once if you uh, here, if you click on the download button here, you will come up with uh, one, uh, one software it is downloaded. So like this, you need to double click on this uh, software and uh, try to install that one. After that, try to restart your computer, that is better then after that, 
connect the Raspberry Pi to laptop with the help of uh, what we call the Ethernet cable. The next step it is after restarting the laptop. Now the point it is uh, click on the uh, in the in the search uh, or in the start button. You will you just you can type it as uh, putty. Then you will come up with uh, one uh, icon, putty icon. Then double click on that putty icon. Then you will come up with uh, this one. So here you need to type it as Raspberry Pi dot local. So this is the host host name. This is we already observed in that uh, in the initial starting slide. So here the host name you need to type it type it as here Raspberry Pi dot local and uh, by default the port name it is 22 and uh, the connection type it is ssh so by default it is uh, selected so no need to do anything here just here you need to type it as raspberry pi dot local so and one more thing you need to select here that is uh, here uh, click on this ssh and click on this x double one right then you need to if you click on this x double one this x double one forwarding it is uh, uh, one separate window it is open then you need to enable this x double one forwarding okay for that just click on this one then after that if you click on this open enable this x double one then click on this open if you whenever if you click on this open you will come up with this window okay so this window if you click on if you click on this accept symbol then the process it is almost done so you will come up with the uh, one now the putty it is act it is uh, it is in active mode so it is asking that login as login as it is asking just here you need to type it as pi pi right then type enter okay then once again it is asking that uh, like a password raspberry uh, raspberry pi dot local password it is asking password so here this password the password it is raspberry this is what you need to type the password then after uh, after that once again press enter so once if you uh, so the password it is highlighted you may not see here so after that so here you will uh, you need to type one more statement here that is start LXDE. You need to type here start LXDE. So type this start LXD and press enter. So once if you press enter, then our Raspberry Pi window it is uh, open already. So that I will show here. So here it is uh, first of all it is asking. Uh, something warning that is SSH is enabled. So that is not a problem for us. Actually, we are uh, uh, we are enabled this SSH. So it is asking something warning. Just uh, click on this OK. Then one, one more thing it is uh, here. You don't close this uh, uh, button, right? If you close this button, the it is disconnected from the Raspberry Pi to laptop. So just you need to minimize, minimize the thing here. So this is a putty window. So here you need to minimize the thing here, minimize the putty window. So you will finally, you will come up with uh, this type of blue color window. For example, in very few cases, you will not find this window. So at that situation, what we need to do at that, at that point, for example, here, uh, here you will come up with uh, like this warning. For example, whenever you, after typing the password that is Raspberry, if you type enter, then here you need to type it as a start LXD. If you after that, so it it will may not open that you will you will not find the blue screen. Some chance some chance uh, some uh, chances are there to getting this warning. So to overcome that warning, just very simple thing here, that is you need to observe here. Uh, in case if you are getting warning like this, close putty window, whatever it may be the uh, window, close here and uh, click on Xmin software once and uh, try to open putty software. 
Once again, you need to open, put the software. That's it. So for that, just you need to click on that Xmin software once. For example, this is our Xmin software. Just, uh, uh, just, just you need to click on this uh, software here. That's it. Or double click on this one. Okay. Then once again, uh, do the same process. What is the same process? Just uh, you need to uh, click on the putty software, right? Uh, then you need to start with Raspberry Pi dot uh, local. Then you need to click on this uh, SSH and uh, enable this XW and uh, uh, click on this open and click on this accept symbol. Now it is, uh, again, it is asking Pi. Uh, you need to type it as Pi and you need to click on this Raspberry. Right, so it is uh, finally it is open the this type of blue screen. So this is the Raspberry Pi screen. So here, uh, if you want to type the program, so here uh, observe here. Yeah, this is my laptop screen, my laptop window, and this uh, this one this border it is our Raspberry Pi screen. So here, if you want to type the programs in this Raspberry Pi screen, so yeah. I think it is asking some warnings here. If you click on this, okay, that's not a problem. And uh, some you know, some properties, some I, uh, some IP address it is showing here. Mm, then you need to click on this next, uh, next, uh, some uh, location and some language setups it is asking. Just to go through that one. It is not a problem. Then after that, you need to, uh, always you need to minimize this putty software. Then uh, here, uh, if you uh, if you want to start the program here in this window, here, click on this. Uh, yeah, in the corner, very small button is there. Uh, one white color button. Then click on that white color button. You will find this one. So click on this programming and click on this Tony Python IDE. Then this type of window you will get. So this is the window here. You need to type the our Raspberry Pi programs. Hope you understand. And uh, this is the way you need to do the uh, interface, the Raspberry Pi 3 model or Raspberry Pi 4 model to laptop. It is a common processor. So hope you understand this one. So please like, share and subscribe my channel. So thank you.